I'm going to show you how you can run factory reset on your red line X5000 decoder. And with this factory reset, it's going to remove every setting on the decoder. So if you don't have any idea of how you're going to navigate through the settings to actually get the channels back, you don't have to perform this. But I have a video that will actually guide you through how you can scan to get the channels back on your decoder. So we have all this channel list on your decoder. And after running the factory resets, all these channels will be normal. So maybe the channels have messed up, but the only way for you to get it listed very well for yourself is to run the reset. Or maybe the settings on it are not how you prefer it to be. All you have to do is to run the factory resets to get everything fresh. So all you have to do is to pick up your remote. You press on the menu button on your red line remote. And from the menu here, use the arrow left and down, top, right, every arrow on your remote to navigate through the menu option over here. And then you look for settings. So you put it on settings and then you press OK on it. So you press OK on the settings and then you look through this menu here just to look for factory reset and then you press OK on it. So here for you to actually confirm with whatever you want to do, if you haven't customized the password, you haven't changed it, a default password is supposed to be four zeros on an FTA decoder. So you type in four zeros on your remote, zero, 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 zero. And then the page we're gonna open up. So here we have restore or restore system settings and then restore program or delete all channels. So if you prefer to delete the channels, you can come to the delete all by here. We're gonna reset everything. So we have to go on to the first option and then you press OK on it. So you wait for it to actually complete and everything will be new on the decoder. So as you can see, there is no channel on the decoder. So the next thing that you have to do is to scan to get back your channels. And for you to scan, all you have to do is to come to the installation antenna setting. If it's a satellite, you come to the antenna settings, you select your satellite and then you add the TP. So after selecting the satellite, you have the transponder option over here. If it's multi TV, you have to go back here from the transponder menu, antenna settings, the transponder option over here, you can't add. There is no add option to add. So all you have to do is to go back to the transponder list just to add the transponder. Of the multi TV, my TV, our TV, DSTV, start time, any FTE that you want to get or you are having it on your decoder. So with the add option, you press on the red button on the remote for the add menu to pop up and you add the TP that you're having a signal on it. So multi TV 12525, 525, 30K and the polarity is vertical. So you come to the seal, you press OK on it. You highlight it like this, you go back to the antenna settings page and here you search through the list and then you put it on it, you highlight it like this and as you can see the signal strength and signal quality have shown here. If you are using a dissect, you need to know the dissect number to change the dissect number over here to reflect the post that you have inserted in the cable on your dissect. So after getting the quality showing green, a stable one, the next thing is to perform the scan. And with a scan, all you got to do is to press on the blue button, that's the command on the screen, for the scan menu to pop up. Either you select auto or blind, and then the other options over here, which is the channel type, you can select FTA only to actually eliminate all those channels. That way it comes along with the dollar dollar sign, the scramble ones, it's gonna eliminate it. And if you prefer to just leave it as 
or for you to get everything coming along with a scan so you press ok to start and then you wait for it to complete so here all you got to do is to wait patiently for you to actually complete and you are good to go so if you have watched this video up to this far and you are new here all you got to do is subscribe you hit the bell icon and you keep coming back home you lose absolutely nothing by subscribing thanks for watching and bless up Town to town.